God is now communicating with you. This individual is being tried to be removed from your life in one way or another. Your loving Heavenly Father, I have to talk to you about some very important matters concerning the people you value most in your life. We should discuss some extremely significant matters today since they affect the people you value most in your life. Your family is getting set to go on an incredible and inventive journey in your home. Really rapidly, your fears and feelings of dread and anguish have been brought on by these events. Your troubles will soon be overcome and you will soon enjoy happiness and unanticipated money rewards. These advantages will come from the challenges that have been putting you in financial trouble. God's favour has made it all possible. Stay tuned till the very end of this video if you desire incredible achievements. I am aware of the errors you have made in the last several years. If this seems heavy to you, I apologise. You could have faced obstacles, gotten pushback, or lost something important while travelling. That being said, I want you to trust me when I tell you that this year will be among the best of your life. I will work with you to reclaim control over your resources, relationships and well-being in order to better assist you. Your dreams won't have to wait for too long to come true. In light of this, you should always be appreciative and trustworthy. Your aspirations will materialize in due course. Like and share this video if you believe in God. Never forget that the key to unlocking doors and providing the tools to achieve total well-being is trust. You have to have trust in me to find a solution. Even if it may not seem like one at this point, God is currently at work in your life, bringing forth changes that will delight Him. You allow Him to be a part of your life. You will shift from being in need to having plenty when He turns all of your sorrow into pleasure. He will use the power of the Spirit of Christ to do this for you. Therefore, He will succeed in achieving this objective and gaining God's blessing. You have to watch this video all the way through. This involves eliminating any unnecessary sequences. Prepare yourselves, my darling kids, for a prosperous new year filled with plenty of gifts and triumphs. When you get up early tomorrow morning, I'm interested in hearing about the financial miracle that will solve all of your financial problems. I beg you to put your confidence in me so I can fix your life. I want to write about the incredible things that happen as a result. Never forget how much I love you and how available I am to you at all times. There is never a time to disregard this. It is important for you to understand that I am not some remote, faceless power, but rather a God who is near you. This is something I want you to know. I would want to request that you do not consider me to be a personality deity. I am concerned about all of your requirements and the goals you have established for yourself. Would you please tell the truth to me? Would you please speak with me as you would a close friend? It's also because I want you to listen to me the way a loving parent would. You should certainly subscribe to this channel. If you really do believe in God and the Christian religion, no one else except God, the benevolent creator, the sun, stars, earth, seas, peaks, and everything else in between are all products of God. As you can see, I am the one who created you in my image and gave birth to you. I have an unfathomable amount of love for you. My manufactured version of myself is what shaped you. This is your mother speaking. It is me who will be there for you no matter what to soothe, support and watch over you. I'm pals with you. Never forget that you are everything to me and that I love you. You are my favourite kid and I swear to always stand by you. I pledge to take away all of your stress, worrying, anxiety and sadness and to replace it with my limitless love, peace, rejuvenation 
and benefits. All of the stress, anxiety, worrying and pain you are now going through will go away with me. My cuttest little one, compared to others, you, have endured this suffering for a longer duration. 222. Instead of letting go, you have been holding onto obligations and worries that are not your own. You have also been doing tasks that are not your own. This is a result of your original lack of legal authority to care for children. You have been convincing yourself to give everything up for a very long time in order to allay fears that aren't even really yours. Despite these challenges, have total trust in me. It's time to let go of this now. My dear child, I am aware that you have been hoping for a divine intervention of some kind. You have been praying that things would get better, that you would discover a gift, and that everything will work out for the moment. Additionally, I want you to know that your prayers have been heard by the Lord and answered. I want you to remember this because I am certain that you will come out of this experience the happiest, healthiest, wealthiest person on the planet, even when it seems like there is no way to solve the issue. I'll be the one to find you a workable solution. I really can put you back together, heal you, and give you the strength you need. I assure you, my love, that you will overcome your fear. My enthusiasm and persistence should not be questioned. I can do unimaginable things because I am a God. The Creator God and the Worker God are the only two types of God. Any task, regardless of size or difficulty, may be taken on by me, and I can overcome any obstacle. I can get my hands on all of these items, as the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, I am the beginning and the end. All of these traits are who I am. I am not just one of them. These are all aspects of my identity. I am the divine being who created you, the kind and wise God who gave his life in order to rescue you, the God who died on the cross in order to save you, and the God who rose from the grave. I want you, my child, to be able to have complete confidence in me. Because I am the God who made you, the God who knows you, and the Lord who died for you, I would die for you because of this. In every aspect of your life, I want you to completely submit to me and value nothing more than helping me, together with your issues, fears, doubts, and stiffness. I want you to share with me your hopes, dreams, and concerns. I would be interested in knowing everything. Kindly bring them all to me, and then provide them to me. From that point on, I could look after them. My wish is that you would believe me when I say I am and accept my assurances. I would want you to know that you can always count on me, even in the absence of your ability to see, hear, or sense me. I want you to know that you can always rely on me. You know that I will be there for you no matter what obstacles we encounter together. You have to see how sincere I am, my little kid. Plan your course for the future of your life. I want the best for you, and you should know that. The best strategy is one that is both aesthetically pleasing and flawless in every way. It also functions with this plan you would have something positive and exciting to expect in the future. You shouldn't worry too much for my little kid, since as a consequence we became closer. As nothing negative will happen to you, make a strategy. Take caution not to fall for a falsehood from someone who suggests that this is a very challenging or tough work. Oppose the urge to persuade yourself that you are not worthy of it or that you are not competent to get it. 444. Since you are the person I respect the most out of all the members of my family, I have carefully considered my options before deciding to offer you this particular work. If you think there is a God, type 444. 
Should you follow my counsel and maintain your whole trust in me, you're going to follow me into the life I have planned for you. All that is needed from you is trust. Just have confidence in me. Jesus never wavers in his love and compassion for you. Even if you have transgressed against him and others, Jesus can still provide for you today because he has space in his soul. My darling little one, never forget that I am here for you at all times. I will always hold you in my hand and I swear that I will never leave you, therefore I'm not leaving. Putting one foot into the hollow of my palm and holding you there, I am the one who will never let go of you. I am opening a door for a person that once he walks through it, he will never be able to shut it. There are the noteworthy shocks mentioned for you, which I have ready. No one else will be able to use you. You will only be used by yourself. Nothing, no matter how hard they try, will ever be able to take it from you. Largely speaking, you will find yourself in a fortunate situation, an event that you have never experienced. It's also likely that this is an entirely new situation for you. It is important that you ensure you are equipped to manage the information that will be sent to you. Regarding this situation, you must be open-minded, everyone together and with a heart open. However, he also assures them that he hasn't forgotten about them in any manner throughout this whole time. Jesus responded, saying, I understand that some of you may feel overlooked or forgotten, as I also experience these feelings. In the background, even though everything is ready to go, I've been working incredibly hard to go ahead and make the most of your time. It's important to trust that it is on your way, even if you haven't seen it yet, even in case you've never seen anything like it. I provide infinite happiness. When you're confused, angry with yourself, and sick of feeling like there's no hope, come to me. I am ready to support you. The gifts that I shall pour into your life are now beyond your capacity to even begin to imagine. I promise to see it through to the end. I really swear, in the name of God, that I will never desert you and that I will always be there to help you in whatever manner you see fit. I am the ray of hope, the one to follow through. The squall of gloom and the roar of darkness. We are all one thing, you won't have time to. Consider how alone you are. While you're with me, you'll be entertained. I am aware of the challenges you are now experiencing. In addition to your own struggles and suffering, would you kindly share this video with others too? Help us spread the word. You must realize that my purpose in being here is to help, support, and guide you as you travel the path to recovery. I commit to being there for you at all times. I recognize the obstacles that life brings and the ones that still need to be overcome with great clarity. Still, I would want you to know that I am working very hard to make things better for your family. I understand that there are still challenges on our path and that life may be challenging at times. To feel powerful and to express that you want me to be a part of your life, all you have to do is come to me. I swear to respect you and your family and to provide healing to all of your physical pains. I'm going to go straight into this healing process. I want to assist you since I treat you, thus it is vital to me to do so. You're all excited about the possibility of obtaining a new beginning today since you've been waiting for one for a while. Realize that a fresh start is not only a fantasy but also a genuine option. You will soon be free of the racing heart, restless thoughts and difficulty falling asleep. I believe you ought to be able to rely on me, have trust in me and understand that I am assembling the finest plan of action for your well-being in the background. The person who understands what's best for you is me. I'd want to call your attention to something 
that I think is very significant, the concept of forgiveness. You may anticipate that your spiritual father would pardon those who have harmed you, just as he would pardon you for your transgressions. We will not accept your repentance if you lack the capacity for forgiveness. It's important to forgive other people. Even if it's not always a simple task to finish, you no longer feel as burdened by the resentment, wrath and hatred you had been carrying around. The chance to spend the rest of your life in peace is something that only someone like me can provide. I am not only present at all times, but I also shine like the sun even when you are unable to see me. I am like sunlight in that sense. Even if you can't feel my presence immediately, know that I am always here to support you in some way. I am the same as the surrounding air if I am invisible to you. Never forget that I am the God of miracles, little ones. I love you and I always will. I will strive to raise you the way a parent raises their child. It's important to remember this all the time. I am the God who made the bridge across the sea, of reeds, healed the sick and raised the dead from the grave. All you need to do is have faith in me, trust me, and have faith in me, because I am the God who can do the most incredible things. All I ask is that you trust what I say. Have trust in my abilities and self-assurance. I want you to know that no matter what you are going through right now, you are not alone in your suffering, because you're not the only one experiencing it. You have access to not just your father, but also to me, your God, and your close friend. I'm here to really make you happy, to encourage you, and to point you on the correct path. I promise to always be here for you. It is my intention to help you that I am here. That's all that's left to do. Make an effort to get in touch with me, put your faith in me, and reach out. I promise you that I will listen to you carefully at all times and make sure I'm ready to meet the expectations you have for me. I want you to know, my children, that you have a lifelong purpose that you should pursue in accordance with my plan. I guarantee that I will always keep my word. Because I want the best for you, I want you to do this. If you go through this process, it's a smart strategy. You'll be hopeful about the future and your own future. Prosperity will come to you because of this. I know it might be difficult at times to complete, but I also understand how important it is. Feeling the fullness of my love, the depth of my compassion, and the grandeur of my mission in this world can only be experienced in this manner. Now is the right moment for you to really go through with the life event you have been waiting for a long time. Because of your extraordinary constancy in prank, I have set aside certain rewards for you from your prayers. You will bear the fruits that I had intended for you as a consequence of your prayer. You have worked very hard, and now is the time to start reaping the rewards of your efforts. I want you to know this even though I am well aware of the challenging situations you have had. My aim is to provide you all the financial assistance and support that I can, taking into account that I would fulfill all of your requests in a manner befitting my majesty. It is not necessary for you to worry about how you are going to cover your costs. I've taken care of everything for you. You shouldn't worry about it if there doesn't appear to be a way for you to pay your payments at this time. You may have trusted me, but I will find one for you nevertheless. I also know that every connection that makes up your identity has presented challenges for you. I know that this is a terrible place. You'll simply have to put your trust in my forecast. I'm sure everything in your love life will blow up in your face. Would you kindly view the full video if you believe in God, who's best for you, I know. In addition, you want someone who will inspire you to realize your full potential in life and accept you without holding any preconceived ideas about you. 
since I am that person, I am acquainted with this person. The two most important components of strength are perseverance and trust, but I will bring this person into your life when it's right, at the exact moment that it is meant to happen. I will introduce them to you and bring them into your life. Pursuing your real interests and goals won't cost you anything. So, think large and pursue your true desires from your heart without fear. When I created you, I expected you to fulfill the purpose I meant for you to fulfill. Remember that I took you this far because I cared about you and wanted the best for you, not simply because I could. I have great intentions for you, intentions that will uplift you and not bring you down, intentions that will inspire optimism for the future. Despite the appearance that you are working alone, I find these preparations intriguing and I have given these thoughts some thought. Since I care about you and want the best for you, God promises to be by your side, offering you guidance and holding your hand every step of the way. Even if it could seem that you work alone all the time, I will bolster you, stand by you and maintain my justice's right hand at your side. I always keep your point of view in mind. If you have faith in me, I will work wonders in your life and provide you advantages you can't even begin to imagine. I really like doing you favours as your eternal father. I've moved closer to carrying out my obligation. May God's grace be upon you continually. Please don't give up on me. I vow to honour all of my commitments. I understand that life may sometimes provide challenges in addition to unpleasant and depressing periods and challenging circumstances. On the other hand, I also want you to understand that you are never alone. You never feel alone, no matter what the circumstances. I swear to never abandon you, to watch over you, and to give you advice in it even in the face of difficulty. If only I might be accepted into your earthly existence. I promise that all of the agony you are now experiencing will be removed from your spirit and replaced with an ending happiness, contentment and serenity. I just ask that you open your doors and allow me to enter your everyday life. All you have to do is let me in and I'll make sure that nobody who follows me and believes in me goes without water ever again, will never go without food. Those who come after me will never go hungry. I am the living bread. Whomever approaches me will never want or thirst. You won't ever feel thirsty or, or hungry if you accept and trust in me. I'll take care of all your needs if you come to me. I would want to present to you my idea of an abundantly prosperous life, full of worldly possessions as well as spiritual plenty. If you think there is a God, say Omen. I'm very excited to offer you a hug when you come to me. Therefore I'm waiting for you to approach me. I make a commitment to never turn down your request again. I am aware that sometimes, especially in stressful situations, it is difficult for you to have trust in me. When I say this, I can speak from personal experience. Given that I have already occupied your role, I am qualified to provide you information. Please remember that I work very hard behind the scenes all the time, even if you are unable to see my efforts. Kindly remember this. Identify the purpose of your life and make sure it has nothing to do with doing bad things. It will give you hope for the future and something to look forward to. It's important for you to know about this. Approach since, I'll be discussing another one with you soon. I'm going to show you how generous and kind I am, so get ready, my precious child, to ensure that you get a promotion, have time to recover, and are fired from your present job. Advance has already been made. Even if you can't see it now, it is still there. Because you trusted me and made that decision. Although it seems that none exist, I will open 
doors for you. You still have faith and confidence in me, however. Although it seems that none exist, I will open doors for you. I am willing to carry out whatever task you assign me, since I am the God who can do the apparently impossible. Remember always that you are the most important person in my life and that I will always love you beyond measure. I want nothing less than the best for you. Therefore you should come to me and let me take care of you. Should you let me serve as your life's guide, you'll realize that there are a lot of wonder and beautiful things in life. If you choose to follow me as your guide in life and have trust in me, you will find that everything I say is true. My favor is sufficient for you and the fact that you are weak provides me with the opportunity to demonstrate my strength. I pledge that I will never abandon you and that I will always be aware of the prayers you say in my honor. Get ready to do it now and to get your blessing and miracle. Get ready to take action right now. It was me who brought the cosmos into being. At every level of the process, taking into account each of you and your particular demands, I have provided you with the resources to achieve the goals and destiny. I have created four your destinies that are unique to you and no one else. I have bestowed upon you incredible abilities and special capabilities and I have given you all you need to have a full and happy life. But sometimes you could feel alone and shut off from the outside world. When you look for answers that are eluding you, it's conceivable that you'll feel as if you're blundering about in the dark. This is what happens when you keep looking for solutions that elude you. It is my desire for you to know that I am always at your disposal and that I am waiting for you to approach me so that I may provide you suggestions and guidance. I want you to know that I'm always available to you. I'll be the one guiding you by providing light, the truth that will release you and the life that will fulfill you and provide for you. Let me go through the steps with you. You'll have a lot of happiness during the following two weeks from major changes in your physical condition, financial situation and romantic relationships. On the workplace, God has talked to him and told him that the delight he is about to experience is unmatched by the suffering he has been going through at work. This miracle will occur early in the morning. Early in the morning, a miraculous event is about to transpire. God has informed you that a new season of things going your way is about to begin. You ought to have received the message that is so uplifting for you today. Numerous advantages will be bestowed upon you, and your life's trajectory will be positively impacted. So long as you allow me to be your life's mentor, you'll realize that life is an incredible and lovely experience. All I say is real, I promise, if you decide to. Rely on me and utilize me as your life's guide. You don't need my favor. Your weakness speaks volumes about you enables me to show off my true power. I swear that I will never leave you and that I will always be conscious of the prayers you offer up on my behalf. God guarantees that all of your doubts, anxieties and sadness will vanish and be replaced with serenity, felicitations, love and recovery. He promises to take away all of your worries, problems and difficulties and that everything would work out in due time. Pray often and with kindness when you arrive at the gates of heaven. I was preoccupied with you, kid, and God will answer, Amen. Never lose sight of the fact that God will bring you through any difficult situation. Mark Amen if you trust in God.